Hi, I'm Richard. This is my new project. These are going to be two separate signs placed upon a uh, span of recycled iron. And this will be a fundraiser for uh, community supported shelters. I think it's a great solution for homeless here in Eugene. If you want to go to their website, it would be awesome. Let's get started. As you can see, I'm at the computer. This is a, this is just a, a sign program that I use. Really all I want is the outside shape of this thing. I put it wherever I put it. Oh, it's on. <laughs> oh, so you were looking for it? <laughs> I hope you recorded that. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> So this is a piece of iron that I picked up at a local uh, uh, scrap shop basically is uh, coyote steel. What I plan on doing here is here's the beer sign, here's the wise wine sign. I'm gonna cut cut it off all in these these sections and uh, that'll probably be the top. Perfect as far as the size, but all these, this, there'll be layers here, here, this layer, this layer, and this layer, and it'll be a wall sign basically. <laughs> okay, so these are the colors that I'm going to use on the barrels. Uh, the, for the final coat, uh, I've already, I've already put the first coat on. This will be the second coat. So, so I've got these ser a series of browns. These these three particular browns is is are the, the, what I'm going to use, and I'm and I'm going to do a, a a blend on for shadows. So, and I've got these. Uh, rollers they're just regular foam rollers that you can buy at any paint store and so I'm going to start with the darkest color so I'm going to pour just a little bit over there that's going to be the shadow color and I got these rollers here and I'm just going to get some on and then I'll go to the barrel here You see me hop, and that's because I got a broken hip. <laughs> and I'm gonna establish some shadow area. Okay, and then I'm gonna 
gonna take another roller and go to my second or my middle, my middle color. You'll be able to see the the difference. There's not much difference, but uh, just enough to just enough to create. I'm gonna use the same roller that I used before because they're gonna blend together just like just like that, you know, on the on the barrel. So up there. color which is this one you'll see the difference there base coat down so I wouldn't have to worry about coverage so much and then you'll also see another technique using that base coat that I do every once in a while which I'll do this time too. You can see the colors blending in. And I just use a lighter touch as I Get to where I want to blend. Now I'm going to take a roller that doesn't have any paint on it at all. I'm just going to finish the blend. I'm going to take a pencil with an eraser and since I got that base coat pretty much the same, I am going to draw the boards. And I want these to be kind of etchy sketchy so. me know where they're at and next I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to take some of this dark color just just let the brush do the work and if you if you if you try to manipulate it too much it looks contrived and as you can see, I'm kind of, kind of just carefully tracing this trace of what I've drawn so I can paint it. And, and what it's doing is creating many, many little holes in the paper. And I'm just going to transfer the image. This is just baby powder, white baby powder. And I'll lightly put it over these holes. So, um, right now, uh, I've got my image on that you saw me do, and what I've done here with this tape, these are these are straight edges on the top and bottom of the letters. So I've taped this off, and this off, this and this, and this and this. Uh, that way I just, it's, it just makes it easier for me. I got my can of white. I actually put just a little bit of yellow in it to make it a kind of a antique white. This is a what's called a mall stick. Is for those of you who use one are probably laughing right now because it's just a stick. And what the mall stick does is uh, creates a just you know a, kind of a support for your arm. Plus it keeps uh, the oils from your can from getting on the sign.
I'm just going to add some uh, some touches to the barrel on one end where it's still the where it's dry and uh, make that kind of curve in. What I want to do right here is there's a little tap coming out. I, I'm pretty sure you can see it. I, I drew it in. It's just kind of a, a representation of a, a pull tap for, for beer. And I'm going to do the handle the same brown. I'm creating a uh, hanging mechanism for the uh, for the beer on top and wine cellar sign. And uh, what I'm going to do is is have a cleat system. And there's two 45 bevels cut on two different boards. One board will go to the wall and the other to the sign, and then I'll just uh, the two 45s will create a a hanging system that will look like that. But, uh, This is Tara from Community Supported Shelters, and uh, she's the development director for that program. And uh, I want her to explain to you all that's going on with my piece of art. Hi, everybody. So thank you so much, Richard. Uh, Richard is a fabulous artist, um, made this sign, um, along with a bunch of other artwork that he'll be displaying at Bennett a wine tasting room that's next to the Steelhead Brewery down near Fifth Street Market. Um, his art will be there from November 15th to December 15th. Um, this sign is um, going to be up for auction. It will be at the Bennett um, tasting room and uh, you are welcome to go and bid on it on location. Um, all of the proceeds from this sign, Richard has um, generously donated to uh, community supported shelters. Um, community supported shelters is an organization that provides basic shelter, uh, Conestoga huts, and wraparound support services for people experiencing homelessness. So, um, can't wait to see you, and um, we'll have information about CSS at Bennett Winery as well.